going to tell you something secretive that you will only know if you've lived in this area. And let me tell you this, I am from here born and raised, and I can tell you there are quite a few wonderful master plan communities, but the five I'm about to mention, you will regret if you don't consider them. So let's dive in. Today, the first neighborhood I want to talk about is in Mesa, Arizona, and it is Dobson Ranch, and this community is absolutely amazing. Let me zoom in, and you're going to see we're in what's considered the East Valley. Here is all of Mesa. Mesa's huge. It's one of the biggest cities by square mileage in the nation. I don't know if you guys knew that, but anyhow, so this is the 101 freeway. It runs through the East Valley. It's a great freeway, and now you also have the 60 freeway, which cuts you through. So if you're living right here in Dobson Ranch, you're going to be 15, 20 minutes to... Oh, downtown Phoenix. If you're wanting to get to a Suns game, you know, a sporting event or a concert, lots of them happen here. You also have access to ASU and Tempe as well as Mesa Community College, which is one of the biggest community colleges in the nation as well. And then you have your South Scottsdale. And that is why this whole area is so on fire that people love to live there, right? So literally I call this area the four corners, okay? Because you've got Tempe, you've got Mesa, you've got Gilbert, and you've got Chandler. And they're all just, they kind of meet right where Dobson Ranch is. I'm going to tell you something secretive that you will only know if you've lived in this area. Baseline Road, okay? So Baseline Road runs, um, you know, pretty much all through Phoenix. That's why it's called Baseline. It's the baseline. But if you live by by baseline in this area, everybody takes the 60. So baseline never really has traffic. You can cruise around town to all your local spots and you don't have to worry about traffic. And it's so amazing. And you would only know that if you lived right there. Dobson Ranch has a really nice mix of condos, townhomes. There's even some duplexes in there. I actually used to own a duplex in this little hidden area in there. So you can live on the lakes over here and you can go fishing. People have boats there. They do community events there all the time. There's also a splash pad there. There's multiple pools there. And it's just really awesome. They have a preschool. So there's all kinds of things in this community. And at the main lake areas, they do big Easter egg hunts and they do, you know, photos with Santa and cookies with Santa. They do 4th of July family barbecues. So it's such a family oriented community. It is a hard place to get into for an affordable amount if you want a remodeled home and if you want a pool. So that can be a little bit of a factor. Again, you're paying for the uh, amenities as well as the location you are about 10 minutes from downtown Chandler. You're about 15 minutes from downtown Gilbert, 15 minutes from downtown Tempe, and maybe 15 to 20 minutes from downtown Scottsdale. So it does have a golf course as well. You do not have to be a member there to golf there. There's also, they just revamped the Mesa Public Library. It's the Dobson Ranch Library that's right there as well. And that's really fun. And they have a whole kid area if you're looking for something family friendly. If you enjoyed that quick overview of Dobson Ranch. So let's jump into the next community that is going to be Val Vista Lakes in Gilbert. Okay, you guys. So this was Dobson Ranch, right? This is Val Vista Lakes. So the nice thing with this area is you are a little bit closer to the whole like Gilbert feel, which everybody absolutely is obsessed with Gilbert. Val Vista right. Lakes is going to be a little bit more expensive or have a little bit more high-end homes than Dobson Ranch is going to have. So keep that in mind, depending if you're looking in the luxury price point, uh, Val Vista Lakes might fit your style a little bit more. Val Vista Lakes has a lagoon, it has tennis, it has sports courts, a gym, clubhouse, and the same thing, you guys, they do all kinds of community events. It's very family oriented. It has certain sections that are gated, which I should say Dobson Ranch does as well. You know, just so many great community amenities. And the one thing that's really cool about Val Vista Lakes is it is very close to Dana Park, which is an amazing outdoor shopping center that has an AJ's, it has Orange Theory, it has shopping, it has sushi, it has everything. It's a really beautiful outdoor center. And so Val Vista Lakes is very close to that. It's also very close to the freeway, to the 60. So you can get on that and zoom around. So just a really fantastic community. So um, let's take a look at some homes for sale. 
is the cheapest um, home right now for sale in Val Vista Lakes. And it looks like a two bedroom, two bath townhome. And it's going to be $339,000. So just like in Dobson Ranch, you guys, Val Vista Lakes is going to have communities within communities, right? So you can have your HOA for your own little townhome community. And then you're going to have the larger, broader community that you're also a part of. So you're going to have two HOA fees. So sometimes buying these smaller, more affordable can lead to a higher HOA fee because you get a few more private amenities. Um, for instance, this one's 330 a month. Let's take a look at the higher end. So here is a 1.5, okay, 1.5 million. And this is going to be five bed, three and a half bath, 4,200 square feet. So you guys, um, so for 1.5 million to get a five, three, that's actually priced very well. So especially in the Gilbert area, um, you won't find something of that magnitude that's redone in Scottsdale or central Phoenix for that price. So really is a beautiful place to live. Um, so Val Vista Lakes, you guys, definitely a place worth checking out. You will regret if you don't check out some homes there. In mind, we do have a lot of just what they call neighborhoods, <laughs> or you can live in a neighborhood that has no HOA. And, you know, there's going to be like one park and probably one elementary school because that's city code for the most part. But you're not really going to have walking paths or biking paths. There's no community pools. There's no sport courts, no workout centers. But you can go to like your public, you know, places for stuff like that if you want or a friend's house. Um, so within all these communities or surrounding them, you can find more affordable living, but you just won't have access to the amenities that these master plan communities have, right? So and you guys, I am Andrea Sheppy, a Phoenix native, all 41 years. I have lived, worked, played all over the valley. If you're thinking of relocating or moving here or purchasing a home and you're not sure where to live, just reach out to me, give me a call, um, tell me a few things about yourself and I can help navigate you towards an area that's a really good fit for you. Anyhow, I really appreciate you guys watching. I really value everyone that does. Um, I am an expert in my field and um, just thank you so much. And let's get back to the neighborhood. Hey, you guys, the next neighborhood that I want to talk about that people absolutely are obsessed with and love living in, but it is McCormick Ranch and Ganey Ranch. They are both in central Scottsdale. They are right next to each other. They both have golf courses. They both have community amenities. They both are more expensive. Uh, McCormick Ranch is quite a bit bigger than Ganey Ranch. Ganey Ranch is a little bit more exclusive, a little bit more private, a little bit more expensive, only because it has much less for sale because it's a smaller community, right? Whereas McCormick Ranch does have a mix of townhomes and condos and single family homes. Now, it is still a very expensive place to live. You're surrounded by golf and shopping and restaurants and spas. And these aren't just regular places. These are world-class golf places, world-class spas, world-class restaurants, famous shopping. Some of the highest end shopping at Scottsdale Fashion Square is right there by them. So even in the over $1 million price point, those homes are going very quickly. And if you have the budget and you don't consider living here, you will absolutely be missing out because it is just such an amazing location and these are both amazing communities. So let me share my screen with you. So, okay, you guys, I was down here, right? Dobson Ranch, Val Vista Lakes. What's funny is they're even on the maps. So in this case, you would cruise the 101 and you've got South Scottsdale over here. You've got the Billmore area, Arcadia, Arcadia Light, Camelback East, and then into Paradise Valley. And this is going to start to get into North Scottsdale, Carolyn Commons area. This is Scottsdale Ranch over here. So anyhow, right smack dab in the middle is you've got Ganey Ranch, which is the smaller area. This is Ganey Ranch. Okay. This is McCormick Ranch. So by the way, you guys, over to the west, you're going to start to get into Paradise Valley. Paradise Valley is one of the wealthiest zip codes in the nation. Now to the east of you is the 101 freeway. So you're right off the freeway. And uh, the Mayo Clinic is going to be not too far north of you, at least the main area, as well as Carolyn Commons, which is a great outdoor shopping area. Scottsdale Quarters across from it. And Scottsdale Airport, where a lot of wealthier people and celebrities choose to fly into instead of Sky Harbor. So that is um, just north of you as well. 
And so that's just one of the reasons, you guys, why people absolutely love living in Ganey Ranch, McCormick Ranch. And you guys over here, this is all um, reservation, Indian reservation. So Butterfly Wonderland, it's funny, it shows up on the map. It's a really cool place. And you're also going to have our casinos over here and um, our Talking Stick Casino, which is one of the bigger, more entertainment driven casinos is right in here as well. Okay, you guys. So the cheapest available property right now in that entire area, it's going to be in McCormick Ranch. It's going to be $349,900 or $350,000. And I think it's about $350 a month for the HOA for this particular property. And it's a one bedroom, one bath. Okay, so. you guys. So here is a single family home. And this guy is going to be McCormick Ranch as well. $825,000 for a four, two and a half, 2200 square feet. Um, also looks really beautiful. Everything is well kept. Very very clean, very bright. And just the amenities, you guys. I know I've said it like a hundred times, but people love living here. Crime is low. Schools are good. Yeah, this is really beautiful. So 825,000 single family detached home. It is two stories. So you'll want to always double check your AC units because as we know, heat rises. I've said that in my other videos. Um, and so, yeah, very cute backyard, not huge, but you don't need a huge yard because look at all of your community amenities that you're going to have when you live in places like these. Hey you guys, so I've jumped over to Ganey Ranch. Remember Ganey Ranch is a little bit more exclusive. The homes are going to be a little bit more expensive because there's a lot less acreage uh, for the community as a whole. So this guy's 4.9 million. And it is a four bed, four and a half bath, uh, 6,000 square feet. And it's going to be again in Ganey Ranch. And I believe the HOA was about 600 a month on this guy. And we're in for a treat. This is a beautiful, beautiful home um, on one of the golf courses. Again, a lot of these communities are, are gated and a bit more exclusive. And it is just kind of giving you a show around what a gorgeous, gorgeous home this is. So if... Um, this is within your price point, then Ganey Ranch, uh, you know, around the 5 million mark is definitely a place you should be looking. You can definitely find a wonderful home for that budget. Driving down Hayden here, which is a beautiful drive, by the way, if you drive down Hayden, um, just very green and lush. And I, I just absolutely love it. Shops, restaurants everywhere. But in here is the islands at McCormick Ranch. And this is a really, it's a, a really beautiful community, a little bit more exclusive, has kind of that Ganey Ranch feel. Okay. So this guy's going to be 3.25 million. And you can already see this home is absolutely stunning, updated, upgraded, probably on the newer side of a build. Let's take a look here. Yeah, so rebuilt in 2024 by a luxury home builder. I was like, there's no way this is a 1991 build, right? No. Yeah. So um, you guys just so, so beautiful. So for 3.2 million, this is actually a really great price. I know it's, a lot of money, right? Um, to some people, but to live in this area for a home of this caliber at the 3.2 price point, I, I don't want to say you're getting a deal, but it's a, it's a good, it's, it's just what it goes for now, right? This is just Scottsdale is one of the top places that multimillionaires around the nation are relocating to and moving to. And Scottsdale has everything to support that type of income level and the type of amenities that uh, that category of wealth looks for, right? So I, again, I have friends and family in this area. Um, they're very, very happy with it and they absolutely love it. So that is a bit more of the McCormick Ranch and Ganey Ranch area. You guys, those were neighborhoods number three and four, Ganey Ranch, McCormick Ranch. Let's dive into the last community for this video that is a phenomenal community that people love. Of course, it's going to be Eastmark. How can I leave Eastmark out of this video? Not only are they adding on to Eastmark, but east of Eastmark is another new community that is building like 10,000 homes a year for the next 10 years, but Superstition Vistas, and I will do a video on that because that is all just getting started, but let's jump in. Let's take a look at all of the amazing amenities Eastmark has to offer. Okay, you guys, so here is the map of Phoenix Metro again. Um, so I remember here's Dobson Ranch, here is Val Vista Lakes, here is Ganey Ranch and McCormick Ranch. Now I'm way over here in East Mesa, and this is going to be East Mark. Right? There's so many community events. There, 
they have parks. They have the Great Park, which is a huge area with splash pads and slides and pools. There is so much growth over here, okay? Not only for jobs, but for schools and for housing. And so Legacy Sports Complex, which I think went bankrupt. It's got a different name now, but they're the biggest sport court in the nation. It's huge. So they host like international like soccer events and all these things. You got the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. So yes, you're a hot minute from Sky Harbor, right? You're going to be about 30 to 40 minutes from Sky Harbor if you're going to hit traffic. But Phoenix Mesa Gateway has grown tremendously and you can get a good amount of flights in and out of this airport. So Eastmark is right by that, which is very nice. And you guys over here is considered Apache Junction. This is where Superstition Vistas is going. Now, um, north of you, there is um, there's some golf communities in here, retirement communities, and some cute townhomes and stuff as well. The thing about living out here in Eastmark is that you're very, very close to all of these amenities, our lakes, our hiking, our off-roading, if, if um, that kind of a thing. The so. cheapest home right now in Eastmark is actually a new build, uh, finished in 2023, so they've been trying to sell it for a minute. Uh, very, very, very small lot though. So some of the new builds out in the East Valley, some of the newer communities, builders are building like straight up and you have a very teeny yard. Now you're a detached home, but you have a patio for a yard. So you're not a patio home because you don't share a wall. You're a regular home, but they just, because your community amenities are so fantastic, they figure let's build them small, right? Let's build the yard small and people will go to the amenities and they're still getting a new home in a great area for a good price. So 450 for a new build, uh, and Eastmark is actually pretty good. So let's take a look through. I mean, again, it's brand new, so there's not too much really to look at. Most of your new builds, though, remember, they do not come with landscaping, as you can see on that sense. Uh, this looks like another new build. Now, the one, so here is the Eastmark Great Park, you guys. Um, and so here you can see a lot of the community amenities to Eastmark and just how family friendly it is, fire pits and parks and lakes and pools and there's skate parks and there's really cool stuff. So this home, you guys, also a new build at, um, at 463. And let's take a hike up to something. Uh, okay. So let's take a look at this guy. So this is 699 in Eastmark. This is a five bed, three bath, 3,400 square feet. And so this one is finished, <laughs> which is nice. And so again, um, you know, decently updated and it's, it's going to be on the newer side, obviously, because Eastmark is not that old. So plenty of space, uh, 700,000 for a 3000 square foot home. So, um, you guys, the parks, the lakes, the walking path, um, just really, it's just such a wonderful place to live. As you guys can see, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, so that is something there. And let's take a look on the higher end, 5,700 square feet, six bed, five and a half. Now there are a lot of, uh, 12,000 square foot lot. Now that's insane for out there. That's phenomenal. So basically you guys, there's a lot of multi-gen being built out there, meaning it's like two houses connected and it's like an in-law suite. And so the multi-generational living is really coming about right now. The mom or the dad of someone's moving in, they're having their own area. They even have their own garage. So those are going to be 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 square foot homes because it's technically like two homes. And then everyone goes in on the mortgage or however you want to do it, or multiple families are living together. So there, you will start to see a lot of multi-gen homes is what we're calling them um, out in our new build communities. Beautiful pool. Again, it's a huge lot, uh, some nice turf there and uh, barbecue area, conversation area, and you don't have any second story neighbors. Oh, I spoke too soon. Well, not totally second story looking into your yard, right? So there's the back of your house. And so just a really, really stunning home. And you've got your patios looks like you have an upstairs balcony. So again, this is what you get for 1.5 million. Now, if you remember 1.5 million over in like the Ganey Ranch area, it was it was a much smaller home, not as updated. And um, so you're definitely, you know, getting more for your money if you go to the outskirts of town. And that is just um, how life works, right? So 
Um, so here is what I imagine to be probably the in-law suite with the mini kitchenette. As you can see, the mini living room, and it's going to have its own bedroom. Um, so definitely a great space for, you know, maybe your teenage kids. I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe you don't want them close to you anymore. I don't know. My son's only two and a half and we love having him around. So anyhow, um, that is kind of an idea of what you get out there for your money as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on five of the best neighborhoods to live in, in the greater Phoenix area. Again, I'm Andrea Sheppy. Reach out to me. I would love to help you uh, drop a comment below, like subscribe, share, you know, whatever, all that good stuff. If, if you guys find these useful. So I will see you on my next video. And, um, again, thank you. Sky, white powder, I'm in ecstasy.